Hi, so I found a way that you can make any hype animation responsive. Now normally the scene settings allow you to set pixels for the height and width, and then all of the elements that you add to the page are positioned based on pixels as well. So let's create some elements here. So I'm just going to position these so that there's a uh, some is cut off, some is visible, we can kind of see a layout. Now if we want to make this responsive, all we have to do is paste a snippet into the head of our document here. So the code we're going to add is adding the EQCSS element query library. And then when that's enabled, we scope the hype container. Uh, the beginning of this changes based on the file name. So we just look for anything with an ID that contains hype container. And then for that hype container, normally it's going to be set to the scene width and height. So instead, we are going to say expand to fill all the available width. This is a little line that says that the max width that it should be is never going to go beyond uh, the maximum size that the viewport can allow based on the aspect ratio. And then we're going to calculate the height of the container based on the original width and height specified to force it to have a height with the same aspect ratio. Now for the hype scene, if, if you're at hype, uh, I feel like you could add a little button in here or somewhere. Uh, these settings are overriding the default styles that hype is setting on these hype scene elements. So you wouldn't need to add this style if it wasn't setting something different. So here I override it and I say position absolute, push it down halfway, push it left halfway, pull it back halfway on itself. So now it's centered uh, completely in the middle of this container. And then the scale is where the magic happens. So if our document is 500 pixels wide, and it's in a container that's a thousand pixels. If the container is a thousand divided by 500 is the original resolution, a uh, thousand divided by 500 is two. So when this flattens down to be scale two, that means when the container is a thousand pixels wide, uh, this hype scene is going to show up double size filling the container. And likewise, if the container is 250 pixels wide, we're going to have 250 divided by the original 500. And so that gives us scale 0.5. And so a 500 pixel thing that's scaled down to 0.5 shows up exactly at 250. So I'm going to copy this in and then let's check it out in the browser. So this will work for any hype animation. So now we've got an animation that scales down. Let's give it a background color so we can see. So as you can see, the whole animation is scaling. And it works no matter what these measurements are. It's showing up exactly the same way in the browser as it is in Hype.